In this video, I'll be testing out the very first Scratch version, Scratch 0.1 or Scratch 14 Feb 4 because it was created on February 14, 2004. This version was not released to the public until long after its creation. I am sure this was built for machines like these, but it is still downloadable and usable. So let's open it and of course, error messages. And oh my god, this is completely different from Scratch 3.0 and even Scratch 1.4. The blocks and the editing area I think are on the right and the stage is on the left and look at the size of the stage. So I think this is a preloaded project and no green flag, it's the stop icon right there. Alright, we got a go button, let's click it and oh, it, it acts as the green flag. Okay, that surprised me, I did not expect that because you know, Scratch is for children. So since this is the first version, everything are new, so we got control, math, these buttons are like LEDs, mouse slash keyboard motion sensing variables and oh there are a lot of pre-built variables and scripts so if we compare the number of blocks in scratch 0.1 it has a total of 43 blocks while scratch 3.0 has over 100 blocks without adding extensions which is really mind-blowing now let's just look at some of these blocks i'll open a new project oh this thing is resizable which is cool so we got no objects, we got some tools like the one on Scratch 1.4 and I think this is the sprite library and okay we got the Scratch Cat. Fun fact, this is the first version of Scratch Cat. Why there's nothing else to code with, just the Scratch Cat, which is really crazy. Let's try this and it gives you a rectangle and again nothing else. There should be an editor somewhere because of that part in the Valentine's project. A few moments later. Alright, I found it. So to access this editor, you need to right click and then click edit image and then it brings you to this completely hidden paint editor. Actually, for 2004, this is really great. And it is disappointing to see that even today, these exact same features are being used. Let's type something, just three fonts, and maximum size is 26. Nothing more than that. Let's close it and try to code. So double clicking works, it brings you to the box. Let's go to motion and grab this block. So how do you check the X and Y position? So we got two variables called X push and Y position. And oh, you need to grab these blocks to the stage. Now let's look at some of these blocks. Looks like no sprite. I think it is like the touching block. These are like when you are rushed, you just type it as short as possible. We got most of the math and we got the Y block which is removed. And wave flag, wave flag, that, that's just so funny. And we got a block called done, I think it is the stop all, it's, it's done. And now let's check the tools, just like the scratch 1.4, we got the selection tool. And we got a wand tool, I think, I have no idea. Let's see, it won't work on, okay, this is when you want to test some individual scripts or blocks. Again, really confusing. The duplicate tool. And these two are to increase or to decrease the size of the sprite. So all of these were related to blocks and these two are related to sprites. Alright, let's create a small script. Right, now how do you run it? The one tool just works when you click on it. How do you get that go button? So you click on this drop down and click new event and script path. Then script 1, we need to grab wave flag and drag all of these blocks to the wave flag waves. Then right click on the script path and create a button. And there you go, the process to just run the scripts. And it works. Really annoying and time consuming. Alright, we check the sprites, now let's check the sounds. Correction, sound. I'm sure this has only one sound. And yep, here you go. This is the sound they choose. And I have no idea what this is. 
again let's right click uh, we got edit sound and okay cool sound ID here again 2004 we got five extra blocks just for sound and if you want to run it you need to do that annoying process again it took me more than five minutes just to run this script so there's nothing much to talk about Scratch 0.1 because it was the very first version. It was really buggy, lack of features, and really annoying and confusing. It, and it is really cool to see the improvements of Scratch 1.4 for 0.1. And if you want to check about Scratch 1.4, click on this video where I go over Scratch 1.4.